welcome back to my channel my name is Yutine for those who don't know so today we're actually back with a um, weave install not this one that's on my hair this is just a wig because you guys didn't need a jump scare at the beginning of this video but I am actually now I feel like in my weave era I decided to go buy some bundles from the beauty supply store just to give me something a little better but I will be getting like actual good quality bundles later on. So if you guys have any recommendations for where I can get some good like bun some good bundles that will really give me longevity, please put that in the comment box below because I just want to at least have it for the times where I'm in this period with my hair. So the bundles I'll be using today is from Pink Lemon. I don't think I've ever used this brand before but the lady at the store said this was a pretty decent brand and the hair looked pretty good because I wanted something that was like nice and full. So I got it in the length 14, 16, and 18 because I did want like layers. So this is what the hair looks like. It looks pretty nice and thick and I got the body wave as you can see. It feels good. This is the braiding pattern that I will be using right now. So I'm going to leave out this much hair. I have it braided like in this pattern where I have two pieces going back. So that they can kind of be like the anchor braids for the leave out. And I just have the rest sort of going back. I did put another anchor braid in the back. Which you can see right here. Because I don't like when this pieces of the cornrows start pulling all the way from the neck of my head. I do want this hair to be really full. So I think I'm going to like try to pretty much pull all these bundles in my hair. I don't know how well that's going to work out. But I will try my best. What you need is thread, obviously. As well as like sewing needles. So I used to love using the straight ones which look like these because that's what my mom used to use I was used to those but then I started using the curved needle and I just feel like it works so much better so this is what the one I have looks like it's kind of big Boom. you also don't want to make it too long because then you have to keep pulling when you're sewing so I usually just like open my hand wide a little and use that length we will be starting with the 18 inches because i want it in layers so i will be doubling the hair for the back pieces and i usually start by stitching together the open end of the hair my space but we could risk me waiting for the right day like the right day ever comes now it's friday I just basically keep going back and forth until it's completed. Alright, so we're done with the first bundle. It feels so nice and I think it's going to give me the right amount of volume once I'm done. I'll show you what it looks like in the back. This is what we're working with. And the length is decent, but this is how much I have left. And I love it so far. And like I said, I want to make sure I'm able to fit all three bundles in. So that was the 18 inches I just installed. Now I'm going to go on to the 16. And one method that I did last time that I really liked was like 
the method where you fold it over. I literally have been doing the fold over method for all of them, but I think I need to stitch it a bit more in those areas where I folded it so it doesn't come off. I should have done like a double stitch instead of just one. But yeah, so the method is the fold over method as well as pulling the hair all the way to the front like one whiff and then I can continue just meeting over there. That helped with making sure like the hair was coming as forward as possible and not pushed back. front and I just did the same thing I did on this side over there as well which is like the flippy thing so that it can come as forward as possible you see how it's covering most of my forehead that is the goal because I hate when it's like all the way over here we want it here so pulling the hair all the way up till it gets to that like middle part anchor braid is the key and then I double the weft usually so when I get here, actually I can show it to you on this side. So when I get to the front, I usually just leave one behind and keep going with one half of the piece all the way up. So when I get up here, I fold it over again and then they'll meet back up here and I can just continue with doing my double weft so it's not too thick and bulky up here because you always want the top part to be like on flat flat. So this is as far as we've gone. You guys will probably see me again once I've completed it. This is the final, um, not the final look, but I'm done installing all the bundles. I literally used every single piece and I didn't have to cut anything. My fold over skills have gotten so good. Like I literally just put everything in here. Nothing was cut, not one piece. So when I take it out, it'll still be like one single ref, which I think is awesome. So this is the final look. It came out pretty, pretty good, I have to say. Honestly, I ended up not doing any type of special styling to it and just left it as is because I love the natural waves that the hair came with. So we're just going to rock it like that for now. But the hair looks so, so good and is holding up really, really well. I've had it on for about two days now, I want to say. And I have to say I love the feel of the hair, honestly. I would definitely be getting more, another one, you know, once this one kind of just gives out on me. I don't know how long it's going to last for. All in all, I love how this came out. And I'm so proud of myself for being able to like do this whole thing without having to cut any of the weft. Because that's always key. But this is the final look. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe while you're here as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.